House taking time off is a bad sign. A bad sign. You think the apocalypse is coming because House wants to be there for Wilson? Yes. You're new. You got a case. Six-year-old with a nosebleed and breathing problems. She was born with a rare mutation of AT. Emily has a unique variant on both of her ATM genes. Her disorder mimics AT, but not all of the symptoms. This is Dr. Elizabeth Lawson. She's a developmental geneticist attached to JHU and an expert on the girl's condition. Elizabeth Lawson. Emily Lawson. I'm here as a doctor, not a mother. Nosebleeds and breathing problems are common symptoms of ataxia telindictasia. You could just be seeing a natural progression. It's not. AT patients have a life expectancy of 20 years. Emily is only six. It's something else. I examined her lungs two days ago. They're functioning normally. It says she fell off a carousel. Head trauma. If the diagnosis could... was easy, I wouldn't need you people. I'm here because, according to Eric, you're the best. We are. Have you considered Wagner's granulomatosis? It's a good fit. But she can't have x-rays. AT makes her hypersensitive to ionizing radiation. I'll get her prepped for an MRI. She knows more about her daughter's genetic condition than any of you. She'll be an asset. Or she won't, Eric. This isn't a request. Use her. How you feeling in there, Emily? Good, I guess. Something wrong? I was only pretending to be asleep. You think that's dishonest? Uh, that's a... My daughters do that too, but they know that sometimes when it seems like mommy and daddy are fighting, it's really only because they're worried about you. And, and does your wife ever want a divorce? No, everything's fine at home. Hold still now, no more talking. What do you think of her mother? She called her daughter the patient. If my kids were born with an expiration date, I don't know. Ow! Ow! Owie! Where does it hurt? We were able to restore circulation to her hands and feet before any permanent damage set in. Primary Raynaud's? The cold inside the MRI room could have set it off. Stress can also precipitate the condition. She showed no evidence of cold sensitivity and she has no problems with MRI machines. There are other kinds of stress. She heard you and your husband fighting. Unfortunately, she's heard a lot worse than that before. It's not stress. Could be secondary Raynaud's. Lupus is consistent with Emily's symptoms. Her lymph nodes aren't enlarged, and she has shown no signs of immune activation. It could be heavy metal poisoning. From what, the carousel? She was only on it for a minute. Simon moved into an old apartment building three weeks ago. I'm sure he has no idea what the insulation's made of, what kind of paint. He's a good father, but when it comes to Emily's health, I'm gonna get his keys and check for environmentals. Lupus is a better fit. I don't mean to pull rank here, but I am her mother. I thought you said you were here as a doctor. And as a doctor, I need parental consent. See above. While I'm gone, please start her ankylation therapy. She's the mother. So let's treat her like any other mother. I think we just hit the environmental mother load. Funny she never mentioned an entire basement full of dangerous chemicals and drugs. You think she'd even let Emily down here? Yeah. Apparently a lot. Ever heard of Lex 2? I've read about it. It's an experimental aminoglycoside antibiotic. 
Supposedly it can override DNA errors in the ATM gene. Doesn't mean she's giving it to her daughter. Anyone studying AT would be researching it. How? You see any lab rats down here? The only cage I see is right there. The only environmental factors we think caused your daughter's illness are the ones you shot her full of. I tested the drug. This is what I did for a living for 10 years. She's your child, not a guinea pig. I tested it first on myself. And in six months, I didn't document any adverse effects. A trial of one is basically irrelevant. Respiratory infections are common with AT. With Emily's mutation, they are deadly and they get worse every year. Lex 2 won't be approved for at least the next five years. Emily, on the other hand, wouldn't have survived the winter. What was I supposed to do? There's a reason for FDA requirements. A study at Jackson Memorial... I know about Gaines' research. He's publishing next month. Was. I just spoke to him. His team just linked the use of Lex 2 to renal failure in mice and rats. She needs an ultrasound-guided renal biopsy to check the damage. Hopefully it's reversible. Kidney number one looks good, which means we'll probably take the biopsy from two. Hey, you're doing great. Brave as always. Pretty cool, eh? Wanna try? <laughs> What's wrong? My chest hurts. <laughs> Definitely not a kidneys. Yeah. Uh, uh,